Hey everyone, and I am your Tuesdays on the Witch's Voice, and I'm recording this on Monday because I have free time right now, and why not just get out of the way? And I'm pretty sure this topic is our altars and why we set them up the way we do. And mine's like in the middle of a spell right now, so it's why mine's set up the way it is. But I'll just show you. This is just my whole altar area. And there's my book of shadows, of course. And then my altar. I have my blue altar cloth on it right now because I was I'm working with my elements. Well, not my elements. The earth one is, but I'm trying to connect more with water right now. So yeah, and sorry, like I said, I was in the middle of a spell. And I have a starfish my friend brought back for me. It's real. Um, and then here is my. I did my spell last night and I did it like a, um, just a way to re-energize and everything. And this is what I used to make my circle and everything, sage, crushed up with salt. Just sprinkle that around the circle. And my incense, I have amber essence right there. And my snuffler, my wand that I made, some citrine. Buddha as my god area, and Bast as my goddess area, by my mortar and pestle, goddess candle. And this is my god and goddess water that I made, and I let them charge. And then my bell. Ooh, that felt really cool. Okay, and then my athme. And if you want to learn more about my tools, you can go, you can go to my channel, The New Witch. I have a whole video on that, so... Then here's my other altar. It's right next to it because it's more like my divination altar. It has my wood wand because of earth. That's wood too, but this is more like earthy looking. And this is my other pentacle. And then my cauldron. I have it there because that's where I was burning the paper and everything. My runes. My stone runes. Uh, my pendulums are all in here with some tiger's eye and everything. My Rose Quartz Sphere. Yep, that's that. My frog's holding it. And then I got this at a craft store and then I just put sand in it so I can hold incense in here. You know, just like that. So I have made my own little incense holder. And then... So there's that. And then you lead up here and you see my... Mother, made a mother crone picture there with my staff I have that I made. And then a Chinese painting slash drawing that I did that stands for the elements. Spirit, air, water, fire, and earth. And then my triple goddess. This was going to be a tattoo I was going to be getting. But then I don't know. Lead down here with my earth mask that I made. And my bosom or broom, whichever people say it. And right here is where I keep a lot of my altar area stuff. It's like my Epsom salt that my friend gave me, and a whole bunch of candles, altar cloths, pictures from Samhain. Yeah, just a lot of things in there. And yeah, and then under my altar... Let's lift it up. Pro do not bug anything. Cruz trying to look so innocent right there. But here's my travel book of shadows. And this is a spell that I have that I was doing. And then under here it's it's just my chest and it shows all my tarot cards. And you guys already seen those. And yeah. Then my tarot card reading um cloth. Then my tarot book, and yeah, just my working candle, my book, yeah. So this is my whole altar area. So it's like knee level, so it's a good height, so yeah. That's pretty much it. Oh, and this holds my salt. And I think that'll be it. And I just have some stones on here. And let's flip you guys around. And yeah, that's my altar area and a little mix of my um, shelving. 
So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this and blessed be.